Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the 2016 Royal Rumble Live Reactions. We've got Charlotte and Becky, Divas Championship match. The only match that I actually predicted correctly as far as the order goes, and only because it was the only one left other than the Rumble match itself. I'll take it. Small victories for the win. John, what are you waiting to see on this match? Well, I'm waiting to see if Becky can capitalize on her opportunity, her moment. And, and become the Divas champion. I mean, she really believes that she can beat Charlotte. She's done it before. I have no doubt she can do it again. The question is, can she do it when it matters the most with the Divas championship hanging in the balance? I would love to know whose idea it was to put that, like, those, like, reflectors on Charlotte's face. Yeah, I don't know if that was, like, her little thing to try and stand out or if it was somebody's idea. I mean, I could take it or leave it. I don't hate it. It's just, you know, it's it's different. Have I ever mentioned before on TwitWow how much I hate that they make Betsy, Becky wear a freaking corset? Uh, no, you have not, I don't think. Because I know I've mentioned it on Twitter before, and I think I've mentioned it to you in passing before. But, yeah, that's it's really stupid because she's kind of got a six-pack, and it makes no sense that they would make her cover that up. Yeah, really. Becky's a beast. She's awesome. Question. Yeah. 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 I mean, Charlotte might have like three or four inches on her height-wise, but, you know, that's, that's about the only thing that she's got on Becky as far as everything goes. It's the only thing that I mean, she is, is better than Becky at, is being tall. I mean, if you're a Becky Lynch fan, I, I mean, I mean, a big Becky Lynch fan, this night's got to mean so much to you because Becky Lynch never was able to become NXT Women's Champion. You know, so she she yeah. bypassed that altogether. Yeah, that's true. I never and, I never think about that kind of stuff, honestly. But I'm so glad you brought it up. I mean, you know, so this is Becky's opportunity to finally win championship gold to join her her sisters and what it feels like to be a champion. Period. Because yeah. even if Sasha isn't Divas champion yet, you know, she has already been NXT Women's Champion. Bailey, and that is a really big yet. Exactly. Because it's going to happen, people. You better bet it's going to happen. And will Becky Lynch's moment happen? That's the question. Um, and Ric yes, Flair love him. Of he's... course it will. Look at that. Look at that. She stood up from underneath a pin. And I'm just telling Charlotte to bring it. And Charlotte obliges. Vaults over. Doing it with Flair. But shoulder Becky block. there with the shoulder block. Arm drag. And the arm drag. This is what we call wrestling, Charlotte Wrestling 101. And Charlotte now catching her breath. You know, it's funny, Ashton, Ric Flair said on commentary, all women in this division are great, but only Charlotte is the champion. Could that change tonight? I think that's what Becky is about to figure out. And, you know, Becky... Another arm drag. The, and another arm drag. drag. Becky Lynch had the lie City to... Becky Lynch had to lie to Finn Bauer. I mean, I don't say that maliciously. It was more like a fib. Lied about her age to go to 15. Uh, Falls of her age because she just wanted to get in the mix right away. That's how much Becky Lynch loves this business. That's how much she breeds this business. It may not be in her genetics, but that doesn't really matter. And now look at that, though, working over that arm of Charlotte here. Oh, yeah. she's. Oh, wow. She's really going after that arm. Look at that. Uh, looks like she wants to lock in a Kimura, but she didn't quite manage to get it locked in all the way. Look at this. Charlotte going for the figure eight already. And I, I say this is a huge compliment oh, to Becky Lynch. Charlotte going for oh. an arm submission here. A little bit of a, you know, taking Becky's strategy away from her. Trying to go toe to toe with Becky Lynch. To me, Ashton, that's ill advised. I don't know if I would want to play on somebody else's playground, you know, where yeah. they're known to really dominate. If you're Charlotte, you want to use your size and athleticism to your advantage. Don't try and out-wrestle Becky. I completely agree with you there. And now look at Charlotte trying to use the ring, but Becky reverses it there, and then the nice. momentum kicking her and off the, the apron. to the outside, yes. Amazing. Becky Lynch is in a groove here. Ric Flair looks flabbergasted. And now oh, Becky going to try and go on the offensive. I don't think this is a offensive. good idea, Becky. This is not a good idea. Rick's out there, see? Yeah, you don't want to go out there where Ric Flair already is. Charlotte's using it to her advantage, and oh, oh but Becky, she missed. Larry, Becky, nice. That coming. Charlotte did that, I think, in their first Divas Championship match. So Becky had it scouted this time. But look at Flair. Look at Flair. The hell is that? The hell is that? And that was just disgusting. And now Becky Lynch.
sexual assault. That's what that was. <laughs> I, I think I, I think I threw up in my mouth a little. What a disgrace is Ric Flair doing that to a woman who's focused on becoming the Divas champion. And now Charlotte, who doesn't give a crap, is going to lay in the forearms. And if this is coming from Johnny Scumbag, people, you know it's got to be messed up. And now Charlotte, nice, nice exploder soup. there. Is it, was that an exploder? Nice. It was kind of like an exploder T-bone from, from where I was sitting. Hooks the leg, but Becky kicks out anyway. Yeah, you're real proud of yourself. Look at that smile on Charlotte's face. She knows now she's got Becky in a vulnerable and precarious position here. You know, and here's my thing. If it was a woman doing that to a male, I don't think we would have as much of a problem with it. But if it was like Mae Young doing it to a guy, I would still have a problem with it. So it's not necessarily it, the gender that I have a problem with. It's the age. Exactly. Yeah, that that that's really what skeeves me out is the age difference. Because believe me, May Young macking it on young guys, I, I just felt bad for those guys. Yeah. <laughs> Even as a young Charlotte, kid, I said to myself, you know, Charlotte is right. in complete control right now, thanks to her daddy. Exactly. I can the re I guess the ref isn't going to disqualify the you know the kiss. Yeah. Well, you know, the officiating's just been top notch tonight, as we've. Well, and plus, seen, so. do, you really, do you really want Charlotte to get disqualified? Would Becky want Charlotte to get disqualified, knowing that it would no, I, I, her to retain the title? I don't I don't think Charlotte should be disqualified, per se, but I think Ric Flair should be ejected. I don't know why I, he's I still in this that. match. That I do agree with. Yeah, that, that's Because that's two times around. now. That's two times now that we've seen Rick be involved in the match in a, a way that he shouldn't have been. Yeah, and when you're talking about it... Championship. Forget that three strikes bullshit. The first time I see you acting out of line, your ass is out of here. And it's just ridiculous that Ric Flair should even still be allowed to be out here. And now she's got the figure four like headlock there, and they're just ramming the head flips. into the canvas. Oh no, I guess she's not going to do the flips, is she? She probably still will. Maybe. I don't know. That seems more like a baby face, but we'll see. We'll see. I mean, I know in Charlotte, I think she just wants to control the hold, keep Becky grounded. Yeah. But, I, mean, that, I gotta that, say, I'm that, not that's... really a big fan of Charlotte using this move, knowing how similar this move is to Carmella's finisher. Right. I mean, I know that Carmella's in NXT, but she's going to be on the main roster eventually. And, and now there are the flips. Yep. There you go. And now Charlotte. Just control that leg strength. Just Although, you know flare. what? I will say, now that I look at it, it is very different than Carmella's because Carmella doesn't have the arm involved at all. Whereas with Charlotte, she kind of has one of her legs wrapped around Becky's arm. Right. I, in fact, I can even see, yeah, that arm trapped there. And, and now Becky's got to just kind of try and move those legs apart or just find a counter. Or just I mean, find a way to reverse it. I mean, you don't necessarily have to get out of it and then reverse it. You can use a reversal to get out of it. Right. If anything, maybe Becky tried to bridge and you know, get Charlotte's shoulders on the mat, try and turn it into a pinning opportunity for herself so Charlotte, out of anxiety, would just she break it. She did try that. She did try that once, and it was a two count, and then Charlotte did the flips. I see. So I guess it's not going to be sufficient. And now Charlotte here is still trying to work over the hole, but Becky, Becky nope. here. Electric chair. Drop. Beautiful. Her. Nice. That creates the separation, and now can Becky Lynch capitalize? Can she get back in it? Referee begins the count here. If both these women don't answer the 10 count, Charlotte will retain. It will result in a draw. We don't want that, though. Becky's getting up. She's stirring. She's going to be on her feet. Becky realizes. I mean, I, I saw her talk to Rich Brennan on one of the fallout segments. I think it was after Ric Flair accepted the challenge on behalf of Charlotte. Becky Lynch was beaming. She said she loved the Royal Rumble. She'd stay up till 5 o'clock in the morning in Ireland just to watch it. She said it was the greatest day of her life until maybe tonight. If she could become the Divas champion, she reverses the Irish whip off the ropes. There's the clothesline for Becky Lynch, and she's feeling it. There's another clothesline. Can it be the calf Kick, it is. She's clearly a Johnny Mundo fan, as Becky Lynch is now feeling it. Actually, that's hilarious. Isn't that literally a Johnny Mundo combination? Uh, yeah, as a technical, that is his comeback combination, yep. Yeah, that's hilarious. I love that, though. That's so cool. And now Becky, she is on the offensive here. Charlotte's got to be sweating a little bit, because for all the genetics, she is now reeling here. She now has to answer to Becky Lynch. Oh, man. oh, oh, Charlotte, they're fighting back. Charlotte not going to go quietly, that's for sure. No, of course not. And why would she? She's the champ. 
Oh, what exactly. a neck breaker. What a neck breaker by Charlotte. And then another one in the middle of the ring. Oh, she's going after Becky's neck. I don't know how helpful that is, knowing that the figure eight is more of a leg-based submission. But, hey, Charlotte's going to do what she wants to do. Oh, a two count. And actually, you know, I don't know if the angle of Becky Lynch was, like, swelling up or whatever. She had to undo the boot a little bit, I think. I don't know. That was weird. But that, Becky Lynch not, was still. She didn't, she didn't undo a boot. She undid her, her uh, kick pad. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know if she oh, was trying to. there's your T-bone, brother. There's your T-bone. Yeah, from the original there, Becky Lynch. I'll tell you, Becky Lynch to me. I was going to say earlier, I mean, the biggest compliment I could give Becky Lynch as a fan of hers, I mean, she comes from a long line in my mind of just great technicians in the ring, male or female. And I just love watching her go to work. Question is, though, she has yet to break out the disarmor. That could be the She's difference maker in this match. She's going for it. Oh, but Charlotte had it scouted. If she goes for the roll up, only a one count. It's a oh, spear. Man, yeah, this should... Oh, man. And Charlotte. She's just too good sometimes. Had that yeah, scouted. Goes for another pin, only a two count again. Charlotte's getting frustrated. Charlotte, I don't know why. She, she hasn't, you know, it's not like that's her finisher. If she would have hit the, you know, natural selection, I would buy her being that upset. But just a spear, it's not going to finish anyone, or at least it never has. I, I just, you know, Ashton, I don't know. I, I think when you have somebody like Becky Lynch that Charlotte knows has beaten her and has been close to beating her for that very championship. What even a the maneuvers that, Yeah. Wow. That was brutal. Oh, Becky has the arm. Becky has the arm. She's got it. Can she up? Oh, can she do something here? Just a standard arm bar this time. It's not her yeah, it armor, like but it is an arm bar. It'll do the yeah, job. She, I'm, I'm only okay with it because we didn't see it from Del Rio tonight. That cross armor, but now look at oh, Charlotte she has using in a that bit of a power angle. But I think Charlotte's going to power bomb her. Yeah, but if I'm Becky, though, I'm going to try and hold on to the hold. I'm going to try and hold on to the hold and have Charlotte wear herself out. There's the power bomb. And I don't think. She, yeah, I don't think she was able to. No, Charlotte there, just that pure power. One, two, only a two, barely a two count even. Becky kicked out before the ref's hand even hit down for two. Man, Charlotte, and you can see the look on her face tells the entire story. She cannot believe it. I think Rick trying to counsel her, just saying, you know, stay focused. You're the champ. You've got this. What is Rick going to do here? Becky is right near Ric Flair. Ric Flair better keep his distance. I'm already pissed off with him enough tonight. Oh! Charlotte trying to charge. Char Becky moved out of the way, and Charlotte did a baseball slide to her own dad. Oh, that could psych Charlotte out. That Roll could psych one, Charlotte out. Two. Oh, only a two count. Rick is oh, up on the apron. Oh, no, right. Hey, Rick Flair, get the hell off the apron. Get the hell off the apron. The hell is this? Oh, and again. you be kidding me. Again, Ric Flair. I don't even know why he's still allowed in this damn match. What did... You've got to be kidding. Oh, it was just a spear. Okay, it was just a spear. So, Charlotte, I mean, that's not it, right? No, that's and not it. Actually, it is. It is. Why Ric Flair was permitted to stay in this damn match after the first interference again. God's sakes. Becky Lynch got robbed again tonight. And you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Wow. I mean, I like the sign in the background. Sign Evie. I'm down for that. Yeah, 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 I'm down for that, too. And the story here is Becky Lynch gets robbed again. So close. Had her in the... Hey, what's this? Now, come on. And Ric Flair, he's loving it. Are we going to get uh, a diva to come out to save Becky, or... Nobody's going to help Becky, I don't think. Nobody was out here to help her tonight. When the odds were once again against her. I mean, I had heard rumors that maybe Mick Foley would, would help Becky because they're friends. Uh, that sounds like... There something. was no Mick Foley oh. here. There was nobody. Here. Yeah, that's that sounds like something Foley just posted on his Facebook, like offering to help. But that's not something WWE's actually going to do. Yeah. And there you go. There, there, there are the two. Father and daughter. Charlotte still. Divas are you champion. kidding me? She's back. Okay, so that's good. 
Oh, look at this. Sasha now going to stake her claim. Is she no longer associating herself with Team Bad or? She probably still is because doesn't she have? Uh, no, no. That, I'm sorry. That says legit boss. I thought it had bad written somewhere. Yeah, but, that's her uh, theme song not. too. There, that's, she's not coming out to the Team Bad theme. She's coming out to her own theme. Well, you know what? Sasha's waiting in the wings long enough. I well, like this. Well, she's been injured open. for the last like month. Right. Well, yeah, here we go. I think Sasha's going to lay down the gauntlet here. Keep in mind, even with her injury, Sasha is yet to be beat on the main roster. Yeah. So, I mean, Sasha undefeated. Undefeated. Exactly. Well, I guess, uh, I guess we're not really going to. I don't know. I don't even know, John. I don't know. I, I don't know either. But you know, you know, Sasha only came here for one reason: to to just be the champion, to dominate the division, and she's just looking at Charlotte. And this is very interesting to me. We're finally gonna get this feud. I think we're finally gonna get this program underway, people. Is it? A Man, I want Sasha to be though, or are they making an alliance? That's definitely not a feud. That's the wow. BFFs. Wow, what? Are you kidding me? Does that mean Summer Rae's so, going to join back with them? I mean, maybe. Because I'd be down for that. The BFFs on the main roster? Yes, please. Wow. Nope, nope, nope. Oh. Sasha, Sasha. There yes. it is. Yes! False sense of security, Sasha, baby. Hey, sh shades of her hero, Eddie Guerrero, lying, cheating, and stealing, baby. Yeah, Lied was... right to Charlotte's face. Wow, she's really cranking on that bank statement, too. Because she's making a statement that she's going to be the next Divas champion. I like that. But yet again, Becky Lynch gets overlooked. I know, dude. Listen to the crowd. Yeah, they are so into it, dude. I love it. And they should. Be. Oh, she's posing with the title. That was a I great match. That was a really stupid finish. And then we got a great post match. Yeah. Seeing Sasha hold up the Divas Championship. Made me pop. That's got to be my pop of the night thus far. That was amazing. It only looks right. Exactly. Oh, Rick. Listen to the pop when Sasha went after Charlotte at first. That was awesome. Yeah, man. That was great. And just cranks Poor Becky, on. Becky, though, man. Becky's like the only pure baby face right now. And you see Becky, I think she's Unless crying. Unless that counts as a Sasha Banks face turn. But I mean, I just saw Becky out of the corner of my eye, like over yeah. Charlotte's head, tears yeah. in her eye. That's, she got screwed again to me. She got robbed, you she know, did. and now she's, she's going to be overlooked. Becky Lynch is going to go down as the greatest bridesmaid in Divas Division history. Yeah, yeah. And we don't even say that with any kind of glee either, because we both know that Becky Lynch can do better. She should have won the title tonight. Let's be real. I would much, I, I shouldn't say much, but still, I would rather see Sasha Becky than Sasha Charlotte again. Right. I feel like Sasha and Charlotte did everything that they could ever possibly do on NXT, whereas Sasha Becky on NXT still felt like it had legs when they got called up. Yeah, because they only had the one big match. So, yeah, you know. Yeah, well, All right. we'll see, man. All right, guys, we're gonna we're gonna close this out. The WWE is advertising their camp WWE cartoon show, so we're gonna we're gonna close this out, and then we'll be back for the Royal Rumble match, baby. Hoping it doesn't blow.